All right, let's talk about the music. It's a lot more easier for me to speak. Um, I hate when the camera's on. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know. But either way, um, it's going to be about the music for one sec. So, going back to two thousand six, um, I started making music under, um, the name Blood. Um, you know, when I initially made it, it was just, it was just to get over just a, a little breakup or whatever. You know, not even a breakup, just, a, just a, a heart thing. But yeah. Um, you know, but fast forward um, from there, Obviously, that was 2006. It's 2024 now. I've been making music probably silently uh, for a long time. And and now I'm more outward. Uh, first off, I do want to say um, when I did come up with the name Blood, you know, I was in high school. Well, just coming out of high school, just... And I was making that music, you know, just more for anger. So it was very aggressive, very um, out there and, and just in your face, you know. Plus, you know, coupled with that, you know, I had my interests, such as, you know, Nine Inch Nails, Deftones, albums, a perfect circle. Like, I just... So I, I literally liked a lot of dark things, but I'm taking a sip of some beer right now. Hold on. gets wet, but uh, yeah, yeah, what was I saying, so, yeah, that early music was very aggressive, and, and um, yeah, it was what it was, I loved it, but now, after years of just working, customer service, sales, things like that, I just be in the public more, and sometimes it comes out, you know, what do you do in your spare time? Thing changing my name to um, Ecclesi and changing the the focus was uh was more appropriate. Um, I try not to make music because I'm angry anymore, and I don't really get that angry um, as I used to. So now I wanted to to change the focus to really just. Different projects I wanted to focus on. Like right now, we're gonna focus on um, some really futuristic, or my version of house music. And since I am from Chicago, you know that's a big thing. I never really liked it a long time. I grew up listening to it a lot, but um. I didn't really like it that much. Maybe because I heard a lot of it. I heard a lot of the same songs. Uh, like even today, I just woke up and heard another house mix. It's just some of the same songs. Um, so I think I want to add, throw my little two cents into it now. So that's what I'm focusing on right now. Um, yeah. Um, thank you, you know, for listening. 
I definitely appreciate, you know, any ears that come by. I know it's a vast ocean of music. I know there's so much music uh, released every day. So, you know, I'm only a bucket in this, and I and I do appreciate those people who come by and give it a, a listen or two. So that, you know, I'm very appreciative of that. But yeah. But when it comes to music and everything, I do, and, and I guess the arts in general, I think I want people to you try to get out their comfort zone, you know. Um, I think a lot of times as artists, I understand we, you know, we have things we like, things we gravitate to, but I do think that it is um, beneficial to us if there, if we change it up, switch it up, and and go outside our comfort zone and gather new information. Um, when it comes to growth as an artist, when you want to get to different things, I think you need to immerse yourself in different pockets different sections of, of, of the arts or just life. You know, if you find yourself in writer's block, the best thing I could say is uh, go out and just live life a little bit. Let life happen. Jot down little things in your journals write notes, maybe write, draw pictures, but try to take in as much information as you can so later on you can regurgitate it out in a different way. And when it comes to music, I think is obviously it's not a must, but I think it helps if you do, you know, go outside sometimes and listen to different references of outside the normal uh, music that you that you listen to, maybe you might hear something very inspiring in another song that you thought you never would heard. You might hear a vocal, a riff, a, a certain groove, a certain melody, uh, maybe a tone, a little solo. Like who knows? You might hear. Something in there that you, you know, probably didn't think you would ever hear. So, I say be adventurous and be daring. Um, as an artist, I think it's very important for us to stay open-minded and not close-minded. So, I'm just making this video to talk about a few things on my regards to art. First off, on my name change to blood to Ecclesi now uh, going forward and also just I want to see people uh, push the envelope and what in their respective fields you know I do want to see people rock the the boat when it comes to their their section so I think that's how you get a kick out of things is how you get enjoyment out of the world so yeah. So yeah. So going forward, um, this art is gonna be music and everything. Probably gonna be a lot more, you know, upbeat. I wouldn't say upbeat, but a lot more or less. Nah, I actually don't know, but it's gonna be under Cleesy. It's gonna be under. But I do have a certain aim uh, in mind under that, under this, this name now, under this project. So, yeah. Yeah, I just want to throw out and talk about art. I haven't really sat here and even shoot the, shoot the things, I guess, about, about art or lace. Like, 
you know, at least for me, I, I'll say this. Uh, music is, is a very big part of my life. It is. It's law. And I can't live without it. Um, so it's only natural that, you know, I add to it. And, um, and if you really love it, and you, and you really, I think that you should, you know, step outside your comfort zone and listen to just different things. Try a different album, maybe choose a day and just listen to a different album in a different genre you never heard before. And just listen to it all the way through. It's also going to work on your, um, what do you call that again? Your attention span, yeah. That would definitely help expand your attention span and get it more tightened up. Especially nowadays with so many distractions because of social media. So there's a benefit for that, you know, help it out with that. And also, it's just a great thing for you to go on a new journey. It's like a ear candy. It's good for the brain. You know, mentally it's stimulating and it, and it helps a lot. It's like, why not? You know, take some time and, and just listen to a random, random, random album. Sorry, can't talk. Or watch a random movie in a different genre you never had. You know, try it. I'm just saying. Step outside the comfort zone. Um, you know, the worst thing you could do is just stay in this box and you miss all these other great things that life has to offer. Like all these other great media or just events or just information that's out there in the world. It's like, take a step back sometimes and and try to appreciate more of, of the world that you live in. You know? Try to appreciate it. Uh, I would like to see more people really appreciate what's around them sometimes, you know? And take, take it all in. But yeah. That's all. That's that's really big thing about enjoying things is you just just enjoy the ride for real yeah that's all I just wanted to say a few things about music and just really for artists to just you know more of a challenge to step outside you know your comfort zone um, I make it a habit I don't do this as much as I used to because I work more but every now and then, maybe once a week, I still try to listen to an album I've never really heard before. So, yeah. So, either way, um, that's it. I'm about to just, yeah. Whatever. If you like, what? I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Have a good day. Bye.